Welcome to Vendors Academy. And my, my quest to you know, explain the concept and principle of physics has carried me to current electricity. And in this current electricity, I want to, I want to explain why you don't understand physics on electricity. And I'm going to be using two principles. So these two principles, if you can truly master and understand it, I mean, go beyond understanding, understand, overstand, then you will see any question on electricity, especially this simple circuit, as easy as nothing, which can even help you in, in AC circuit. So I'm going to look at kickoff, current laws, and voltage law. I'm also going to look at the Ohm's law. Now I'm going to truly explain the principle of these two people. Now I'm going to start with the first. Let's talk about kickoff law. You need kickoff law. Whether you're writing WIAC, Deco Jam, IGCS, the understanding of what that man says is the only way out for you. Without it, you may solve by trial and error. Or your teacher might have explained it better for you without knowing that he has applied kickoff law in his explanation. But let's go. So these are two major laws you need. The first one, we have kickoff current laws. We have kickoff current law, and we have kickoff voltage law. So we have the law for voltage, and we have the law for current. Now let's start with the current law. What does this? I'm not going to, you know, state it verbatim. Um, maybe you can just Google it. I'm, I'm going to paste it actually. So what does the man say? He says that. The current flowing through a, jo a junction. For example, I'm going to give E here. I mean, EMF in volts. Now, when you look at this circuit, what happened is this. Current is going to flow in this direction. Current is mov moving this way. Current behaves like water. That's why I want you to look at it. Or human beings moving. Now, Current has a particular path to move, and we call it conventional current. That means movement of current through the positive. This is the positive. The longest side is the positive. The small side is the negative. So it moves from, according to conventional current, current moves from higher potentials through then to the negative or to the lower potential because every positive terminal is a higher potential. Now, as the current moves, comes here, move across the two ohms, move across the, um, the, the three ohms. When it reaches this place, I will call it J1. That is the junction of the first junction. This current will do something. It will divide. That is according to kickoff current law. So he says that the current moving into the junction is equal to the current moving out of the junction. That means, but when they enter here, because I told you they move like human beings or like, uh, like water. Water, what, whenever water sees any part, water will flow. Or human beings, when they get to this point, one, two, three, some human beings will follow here. Some people will follow this side. Some people will follow this side. The same thing happens to water. So when they get to this point, some current will move in this direction. Let me call it I one. Some will move in this direction. Let me call it I two. And some will move in this direction. Let me call it I three. So that simply means that the quantity of current flowing to a junction is equal to the quantity of current or the sum of current moving out of the junction. Sometimes we call it node. Node is that point, you know. So let's assume that 10 amps is entering into this one. So when it enters here, this thing will be divided into one, two, three. Let's say um, this one, let's say two, Amps we follow here, and let's say um, four amps we follow here, and the one that will follow through this place is okay. Let's say um, three, three is following here, and five is following here. So if you say two plus um, three plus two plus five is what ten, which is equal to the one entering, but we are not sure the value of current that is entering here, but we can. Calculate them according to kickoff law. So from there, I'm going to write a question according to him. He says, 
and sometimes we can also say that according to kickoff law the total the algebraic sum of current to a, a node is equal to zero that means i sorry not then this is the i which is this i is going to be i minus i1 minus i2 minus i3 equal to zero that is all you can put it this way that i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so this is the equation of the current we need here according to kickoff current law that is the principle anything you do outside this principle you have failed even when your answer is the same thing as the answer gotten in the question you made it through prior and error and your process is wrong all right now let's go to the next one which is called the voltage law what does it say according to that one you know when it comes to voltage so as i call j1 and this place must be j2 so when they all gather through this place when they all come here they come out okay um let's do it here in order to reduce the timing of the video uh, now we are done with the kickoff current law talking about the kickoff voltage law now if you look at this this is the load two ohms three ohms now the voltage across two ohm is different from the voltage across three ohms because the potential difference from this point of this terminal of the two ohms to the other terminal of two ohm the voltage across them will have we draw a particular energy from the from the battery or the cell so v2 plus v3 then when it comes to this one connected in parallel all of them will have the common voltage which is the voltage between the junction of the first part of the parallel resistors and the other junction so between this junction and this junction they have one common voltage across them and that simply means that in a series arrangement they have different voltages or different pds but they, when they are connected in parallel all of them will share one common voltage across them now this is where the kickoff voltage law comes in he says that the sum of the individual voltages of the load or, or of the resistors they will all add up to the voltage or the emf of the battery so if the emf is 15 volts then this one plus this one plus this one is going to be equal to 15. that is why i have to say that v2 plus v3 plus vp is equal to 15. for example this v or but some you know i may say is equal to the vt total voltage of the circuit or voltage coming from the battery now these are the law according to kickoff now let's talk about voltage um, ohm's law ohm's law says that the voltage um, the, the pd the potential difference across any two points in a circuit is directly proportional to the current flowing through that same point when current uh, when temperature and other physical agents are constant but there is something i want you to know when it comes to ohm's law don't use this formula because this formula may not give you everything you need maybe you're a beginner because this voltage this particular equation has only one r what is such r if you're having this kind of resistors arranged in this circuit which r are you going to call it but when you set it up in this form whereby this r is given as the total resistance of the circuit or effective resistance of the circuit or combined resistors of the circuit so that is why this RT is going to comprise of this, 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 and this for all the resistors in the, circ in the circuit. Now, we can also use it to find the individual voltage across each of these resistors. So using these kickoff laws and Ohm's law, we will be able to find this I1 which is current flowing through this part, I2 current flowing through the 6 ohm, then I3 current flowing through the 4 ohm resistor. We can also find I current flowing through this and this. So I want you to know that current flowing through the series connected resistors is common resistor, is common current. Why the current flowing in parallel circuits, they are different currents. 
So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to find all these currents and all the voltage in the circuit. If you like this video, do not just watch. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, comment and share for YouTube and log reading to be able to push our content to the people that need it. Thank you very much and wait as I solve this. Okay, you're welcome to this class again. Let's continue from where we stopped in the last one, why you don't understand physics, and today we are going into current electricity. I explained in the first part of this video that kickoff, current law, and voltage law, and Ohm's law are key major concepts in the scope of what I'm explaining to solving problems on electricity. Now, we are asked to find the current flowing through five ohm resistor, the current flowing through six ohm resistor, and the current flowing through 4 ohm resistor and which is something as also finding the current flowing in the circuit which is i so i'm going to find i comma i1 i2 i3 we are also going to find the voltage between the potential difference between two ohms potential difference between three ohms and potential difference between the parallel circuits all right if you're ready let's go there so what i'm going to do is to first start by establishing the fact that the current or no let's first find the no i'm going to first establish the fact that the formula i need is v equal to current through the circuit multiplied by the resistance of the total the total resistance in the circuit and i'm not going to use this they are not going to be used for for me because this r does not indicate which r i'm going to use so i'm going to use this which means total resistance in the circuit or combined resistors so how do i find these combined resistors because i already know that v is given as 15 volts so that is the total resistance in total voltage or voltage of the cell all right i'm going to start by doing this finding this this and this which says that 1 over r through the parallel is giving us 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4. But I'm going to use a small trick to get it. I'm going to say that r is going to be 5 times 6 all over 5 plus 6, which is something as 30 over 11. And 30 over 11 is going to give me as 2.73 ohms. But that's not enough. I still have 4 to deal with. So I'm going to say that then resistance through the parallel is going to be equal to 2.73 times 4 all over 2.73 plus 4. If you do this very well, 2.73 times 4 is going to give you 10.92 all over. This is going to be 4.73. Everything here is going to be, is going to be, let me use this. All right, so I'm going to have, I'm going to have that um, 10.92 divided by 4.73, which is 2.3, 2.3, but then let me say that um, 30 divide, 30 divide 11, 2.73 now. <coughs> Oh God, okay, something was wrong. And this is going to be six, 6.73. All right, so I'm going to have that 10.92 divided by 6.73. So I'll be having 1.63 ohms. Now, this 1.63 ohms is the combined resistor of five, six, and four. But that is not my total resistance. Total resistance is going to be 2 plus 3 plus 1.63. This is 5, 6.63 ohms is the total resistance in the circuit. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to find the current flowing through the circuit. I have gotten my RT to be this. So V is going to be of vo total voltage of the circuit is going to be 15 volts. So current is going to be total voltage all over total resistance, which is going to be 
15 all over 6.63, which is going to be 15 divided by 6.63, which is going to be 2.26 amps. So the total current flowing in this circuit is 2.26. So that is the current. But then, how then can I find the, because listen, the current flowing through through 2 ohms is still the same thing as 2.26. The current flowing through 3 ohms is going to be 2.26. But the current entering here is different from the current entry here, is different from the current entry here. But according to kickoff current law, it says that the total current is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. The question is, how do I get the I1? But according to this, I know only this one, but I don't know I1, I don't know I2, I don't know I3. So I'm going to keep this pending while I go from the voltage. So I can only find this current if I can find the voltage. So how do I find the voltage? According to Kikov voltage law, Kikov voltage law says that total voltage is equal to the voltage across two ohms plus the voltage across three ohms and plus the voltage across the parallel circuit, which is VP. Now, for that reason, I can now find the voltage of VP. Now, I know VT. Total voltage is going to be 15 volts. That is my total voltage. But what is V2? I can find V2. Okay, V2 is what? Current um, uh, potential difference across these um, two ohms is going to be current across two ohms times the two ohm resistor. And the current across two ohm is what? 2.26 times two. So 2.26 times 2 is going to be 4.52 volt. So the voltage across this one is going to be 4.52 volt. All right, uh, I know this. I know, I know this. I know this. I don't know this. I need to find this before I can find this. Okay. Now, voltage across the, the 3 ohm resistor is going to be 2.26 times 3. All right. So 2, 2, 2.26 times 3 is going to be giving you a 6.78 volt. So voltage across this place is 6.78 volt. You see, now to find VP, I'm going to make this the subject formula by saying 15 minus, so it's going to be 15 minus V2. V2 is 4.52 minus V3 is 6.78, so VP is going to be equal to, let's do it, 15 minus 4.52 minus 6.78, so which is going to be 3.7 volts, all right. Okay, so I have gotten V2, V3, VP. So the, you see the way I'm getting them, the ohm's law on this one, ohm's law on this one, and Oh, that off. So, so now I have gotten this. I can now find the, the current here. So let me do it here. So I1 is going to be voltage across 5 ohms is what? VP all over the resistance across 5 ohms, which is this. So current across that one is going to be 3.7 all over 5 is what? 3.7 divide 5 which is 0 0.74 amps, ampere. I2 is going to be the same thing, um, 3.7 divided 6, 3.7 divided 6, which is going to be 0 0.62 ampere. Then I3 is 3.7 divided by 4, 3.7 divided 4, which is 0 0.93 amps. Now, to check if our law is correct, um, I'm going to say this plus this plus this will it give me I. What is I? 2.26. So let's check 0 0.74 plus 0 0.63 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 plus 0
plus. I know they will not be the same thing because of some approximation. Uh, 0, 0 0.62 plus 0 0.93. Um, something very close to one decimal place. To one decimal place, you still get the same thing, which is 2.3. So this is the current I1, I2, I3, and these are V1. <coughs> okay, these are V2, V3, and VP. This is how to solve question on electricity using Ohm's law and kickoff voltage and current law. Thank you for being part of this lesson. Remember the right thing to do. Always hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it.